Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. In our last video, we have seen the introduction and general characters of phylum Mollusca. Now, we shall discuss the classification of phylum Mollusca. Phylum Mollusca is the group of soft bodied animals. These are unsegmented animals in which we see an outer protective cell in most cases. Here are some examples of phylum mollusca. Remember these examples. One is neomania. Neomania has no cell in its body. The body is elongated worm-like. However, the body is soft and unsegmented also. Neopelina. It has an outer covering, the cell. Cell is without any segmentation, single piece. Chiton. It has also a cell, the outer protective covering on the back side. But the cell has different plates and you may count them. Eight different plates are there. A snell. One another example. It has the soft body, but it is with a cell. The cell is coiled here. Dentalium. It has an outer tubular cell. Unio. Here, two cells are there. Cell with several markings only. Octopus, no cell. And octopus has eight arms. So you should keep in memory these common examples of phylum mollusca. Phylum mollusca has been divided into seven different classes on the basis of their different features. The cell, the foot and other structures. These classes are class A placophora, monoplacophora, polyplacophora, gastropoda, scaphopoda, pelicipoda and cephalopoda. We have to see about their features one by one. First about the class A placophora. Remember in Greek language A means no. Plax has the meaning of plate and ferrein means to bear. So here these animals or this group has no plate. No plate means no outer covering. Cell is absent in short. A flacophora includes all marine members. So all are marine. Here the body is worm-like, cylindrical and bilaterally symmetrical. In image we clearly see the elongated worm-like body that is not divided, unsegmented. Here head, foot, mantle and cell absent. No head, no foot. That's why said as worm-like body. Body covered with thick mantle. Outer covering of the body is a mantle provided with numerous calcareous spicules. Having calcareous spicules is the most characteristic feature of a placophora. Similarly, no cell, one another important feature for them. Elementary canal is straight and radula usually present. What is this radula? Radula is a kind of rasping organ. It breaks down the food into fine particles. The members may be monoecious or dioecious. So here unisexual and bisexual both the types of individuals are under a placophora. Common examples neomania, ketoderma etc. This is the diagram of neomania. One another class, class monoplacophora. The name has been taken from Greek language in which mono means single. 
placo or plax means plate and fora or ferrain means bearing. So here the body bears a single plate means the cell is a single plate. In this group also all individuals are marine found in seawater. Single exoskeleton plate this is the characteristic feature of this group indicated by its name also monoplacophora single plate like structure forming the exoskeleton body is bilaterally symmetrical and segmented remember in mollusks most members are unsegmented we have seen in general character body is unsegmented but here segmentation is still found and due to this segmentation it is supposed to be a link between annelida and mollusca remember annelids are with segmented body so monoplacophorans are supposed to be a connecting link between annelida and mollusca here head is present but eyes and tentacles are absent eyes the sensory structures tentacles also sensory structures so head present but these sensory structures are absent and these are diaceous sexes separate common example neopelina from classification point of view this neopelina is an important individual important group representing a connecting link between annelida and mollusca so important from classification point of view now another class class polyplacophora poly means many placo means plate ferrain means bearing so here many plate like structures in fact the cell has many plates almost eight different plate like structures in the cell let us see the characteristic features of polyplacophora these individuals are also exclusively marine all live in sea only cell means the outer protective covering cell is composed of eight overlapping calcareous plate this is the most characteristic feature of this group body is bilaterally symmetrical right and left side similar and unsegmented not divided the soft body is not divided into different regions head distinct head is clear eyes and tentacles absent radula present radula the rasping organ found in their buccal cavity here present they are also diaceous means sexes are separate common examples are chiton tonicella etc this is the diagram of chiton now the next group class gastropoda the term has been derived from greek language in which gastro means belly stomach and poros means foot the main feature is that the foot is on belly side this is the diagram of pila the apple snail in which the body is out of the cell and here we see the foot on the lower side means towards the belly side that's why the name gastropoda has been given in this group the members may be aquatic or terrestrial or both means some members are with amphibious lifestyle living in water and on land both body is asymmetrical this is due to the asymmetrical cell the torsion twisting of the body body asymmetrical and unsegmented head is distinct eyes and tentacles present so this entry part of the body is called head in which eyes are at the tip of posterior longer tentacles here anterior tentacles tentacles are the structures which provide the sense of touch 
sense of chemicals and here the eyes are the structures that provide the sense of vision. So head present, eyes and tentacles also present. Foot is flat. The foot on the ventral side is a flat muscular organ and present on ventral side. This is the characteristic feature. Cell univalve. Univalve means again with single piece, often conical or coiled. In some members, the cell is coiled. Here in pila, it is almost conical and sometimes absent. Slug is the example of this group in which the cell is reduced or absent. They are mostly diocese, means sexes are separate. Male and female individuals are separately found. The common examples are snail, the scientific name helix, limax that includes slug. So a snail and slug are the common examples of class gastropoda. Next one, class scaphopoda. The term derived from Greek language in which scapha means boat and podos means foot. Their foot is boat shaped. So boat shaped foot. So the name scaphopoda. This is the image of dentalium in which one peculiar feature conical cell and another pointed or boat shaped foot. Let us see the general features of scapophoda. Scapophoda includes all marine individuals. The body is bilaterally symmetrical, right and left side similar, foot small and usually pointed for borrowing purpose. This pointed foot is called boat sept. The cell is tubular. Characteristic feature, tubular cell, univalved, made up of single piece and open at both ends, upper end, lower end, both open. Eyes, tentacles and gills absent. These are marine animals. In them, eyes and tentacles absent, gills also absent. They are diocious, sexes separate. Common examples are dentalium, the common name of dentalium, tusk cell, tusk of the elephant, cell like that. So tusk cell is the common name of dentalium. Now let us see one other group, the class Pelicipoda. Pelicipoda, term taken from Greek language in which pelikis means hasset. You must remember the wedge, hasset, used in agricultural fields. Podos means foot. So here the foot is wedge shaped or hasset like. In this group, the members may be marine or freshwater. So no one terrestrial, all aquatic, may be freshwater, may be marine. Body is bilaterally compressed like fishes. Body is compressed from lateral sides. Head not distinct and radula is absent. Head not distinct. The body is inside the cell, so we are not seeing here. But inside the body, the head is not clear, radula also absent, eyes and tentacles absent, cell is bivalved. This is the characteristic feature of Pelsipoda. Cell bivalved means made up of two plates, one right, another left. Two plates. Here we are seeing the lateral view. So only a single plate is seen here and this may be right or left side only. Foot anteroventral towards anterior side and usually wedge shaped. This is the feature under Pelicipoda. So name is related here, wedge shaped foot and foot is on the ventral side, on the anterior side. In this group also, some members are monoecious and some diocious, means unisexual and bisexual, both found in this group. Common examples are unio. Here the image is that of Unio. This is a freshwater mucel found in freshwater. Pink Tada 
Terido, these are other examples of Pelecipoda. And the last group, class Cephalopoda. The term taken from Greek language in which Kephale means head and Podos means foot. In fact, the foot is near head, so called Cephalopoda. In this group, all the members are marine. Body is bilaterally symmetrical. Cephalopods all found in C only and the right and left sides similar. Head is distinct but radula absent. Here the image is that of octopus. The large globe-like head can be seen here. Out of the two eyes, one right, another left, so one is seen here. And near the head, around the mouth, the different arms. These are the foot. The different arm-like foot that helps in locomotion and foot capturing. So cell absent or internal. In this case, cell is absent. May be internal, not seen from outside. Foot modified into arms present around the name. So the name Cephalopoda has been given. These are also diocese, means sexage separate. And the common examples include octopus, loligo, that is generally called squid, sepia, the cuttlefish, etc. This is all about classification of phylum mollusca. In our next video, we shall discuss another phylum, phylum echinodermata. So stay tuned for upcoming videos. See you in the next time. Thank you.